can also calculate the materials of the pavements and what is underneath the pavements like the base and the sub-base. How to do that? We need to set up the quantity takeoff criteria. Here, as, as a default criteria, we do have a material list. We let's look at how it looks like. Let's first of all create a copy. And here we can call it pavement materials. And then for the material list, we can see we, we do have a base, we do have a sub-base. What I need to add are the two pavements here under pavement. Because our cross-section had, had two layers, let's look at our cross-section. It had two layers of pavement 1, pavement 2. Let's look at the properties sub-assembly properties here at the parameters you can see pavement 1, pavement 2, the base and then the sub-base so we need and our, our quantity takeoff criteria to have those two structures so, so the one we copied and created there I want to add corridor shape here under material list and I want to pick pavement 1 and add it there and again pavement 2 add it there and then this one I want to delete it under pavements we have pavement 1, pavement 2 under base we have base material and our sub base we do have sub base material we apply click on OK again we now want to compute those materials we will do that in our next video now let's compute the pavement materials we again go to the analyze tab volumes and materials we click on compute material still the same alignment still the same sample line group click ok let's see this is earthworks we need to import another criteria which we already created We import the pavement materials and here at pavement 1 we choose pavement 1 pavement 2 pavement 2 base material we pick the base sub base material we pick the sub base and the volume calculation method we okay with average end We change to average end okay if you want to remove the material list number one you can see this is the material list number two we can even rename it here to pave materials so that when you're doing the computations you or when you're doing the report you easily pick the right material list once you're done you click OK and the calculations, the material calculations are being done. Now it's time to, genera to generate the report. Click on material report, we go to pave materials. And then here, we pick select materials, open, and we click OK. So this is not a very good report to show you the different types of materials because it's slumping up all the materials including those for for pavements so what we'll do we'll create a table again a volumes material table pick area and volume table we don't want to split it and then we will do for the two layers the pavement layers uh, and then we click OK we place it there so that's, those are the volumes of your asphalt pavement 1 and pavement 2 
So those are the volumes. You can also now create for the base. You don't want to split the table. Click OK. Place it there. That is, those are the volumes for the base. Then finally, create a materials table for the subbase. Pick the subbase. Once everything is set up, you click OK. Okay, so that is the pavement, the subbase, the base, and then the subbase. And you have now your total computations in cubic meters.